everyone welcome to smart math online tutor let us take a look at the stock market through this video what is a stock market when a private or a public company start or carry on their business they raise a capital through the stock market the company issues shares for the general public and the general public can buy or sell shares through a licensed stock broker this process takes place within the stock market and in Sri Lanka this is operated by the Colombo Stock Exchange. Fine, now let's look what is a share. A share is one of the equal parts into which a company's capital is divided. That is, if a company has 100,000 shares and if I am going to buy 10,000 of it, my ownership can be found by dividing 10,000 over 100,000 and multiplying by 100%. So that gives me 10% and that is I own 10% of the business. The next fact you should know about is dividends. It is a benefit to the shareholder. Dividends are payments out of the earnings of the company and it is paid per share and given to the shareholder quarterly or annually. Now let us look into an example. A company sell a share at 100 rupees and pay a dividend of 4 rupees per share. I am going to buy 10,000 shares. How much did I invest? It can be found when number of shares is multiplied by price of a share. And that gives you 10,000 into 100. The answer becomes 1 million. Then, my annual income can be calculated by multiplying the number of shares by the annual dividend. It is 10,000 into 4 and it gives me 40,000 rupees. If I need to get my annual income as a percentage, all I need to do is divide the income by the investment and multiply it by 100%. So, that gives me 40,000 divided by 1 million into 100% and that is 4%. Now let us see into how the trading in the stock market takes place. The stock market has two sectors, primary market and the secondary market. In the primary market, we can buy new shares issued by a company and in the secondary market, trading of shares takes place. In the primary market, a share is bought at purchase price and in the secondary market, a share is bought at market price. You should remember these two terms and definitions of these two terms in order to continue sums in this section. If the market price is greater than the purchase price, we gain a profit. It is called a capital gain. And if the purchase price is greater than the market price, we incur a loss. It is called a capital loss. Now let us move on to a simple example. Mr. Pereira bought 2000 shares at 20 rupees and sold all them when the market price increased to 25 rupees. Now here you should clearly identify 20 is the purchase price and 25 is the market price. What is his investment? It can be found when you multiply the number of shares by the purchase price. So that is 2000 into 20 is equal to 40,000 rupees. If you need to find the amount gained by selling the shares, what you should do is to multiply the number of shares by the market price. So by selling the shares, Mr. Pereira received 50,000 rupees. It is very clear that this transaction gave a capital gain. So it can be found by subtracting the investment from the amount gained by the trading. So 50,000 minus 40,000 gives you 10,000 rupees and it is the capital gain of Mr. Pereira. If you need to find the capital gain as a percentage, all you should do is divide the capital gain by the investment and multiply by 100%. So it gives you 25%. So that's cool and simple. Look at these equations. They will help you to solve questions that can appear under this section. Hope 
I gave you a clear picture about the transactions in the stock market. See you in another smart math clip. Until then, goodbye.